In this video, we're going to focus on Tailwind CSS hover buttons. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to explore a bit how we can do some fun effects with the Tailwind uh, options and the hover button specifically. So let's start and explore. So quick, just a quick note here. I use the style sheet of Tailwind.css just for for now as to explore this all these functions in Tailwind. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a button here and maybe what we could do is, for example, we're going to create a navigation. You can create a div and in this div, put another div here and then here it would have a class. What can we do here? What we would like to do is we want to put it here above and then we put in here some buttons and that when we hover over these buttons, it will eventually show. So let's start and look what we can do here. What for class we want to set. First of all, I want to have a width. And I say W full, indicating a full width. Next, I want to give it a background color, and I'll just make it a simple background color, BG green, and then the level of 500. If I save this now, we should have something here, not yet. And the reason why is we don't have anything yet here. So if I say here text, and save this and refresh, we can see now we have something. All right, so this is very straightforward. What I do want to do is here padding, uh, padding four, I think it would be more than enough. And in here, we're going to put buttons. We want to make sure these buttons are in the center here. So let's start and explore how we can do this. So first of all, we're going to give it a button, or probably here will be uh, a link. This will be an href. And this will, we will give it a class as well. So what are we going to do in this button? So imagine we have three different buttons. And all of these buttons, eventually, when we click on it, it should eventually show something. Let's say home or well not even click but when you hover over it you want to give it a slight effect say here home about about us sorry that's an incorrect spell about us and products and i realize that maybe we should put the product just above home, uh, above about us that would make far more sense if i save this now all right let's ignore that there we are so now if you click on this or we see here we hover over nothing happens this is just very straightforward uh, href tag or anchor tag so what we can do here is the first thing what we want to do here we want to give it a uh, basically the font we'll say just font white to give it a white color and what we will do is we will give the border or the background color will be black so bg black and for bg black and bg white we don't need to give it a level of intensity so it's just a single value here no numbers needed so if i refresh this you can see here this all right now you can see here uh, i see i forgot this all right so very important here it's not font i always think about font color but it's not it's text white it's exactly the same as bootstrap save that refresh all right so now what we need to do here you can see that these buttons still look hideous to be honest and the reason why is because they are not yet set into the right shape so we can make this a button look alike. So basically it's a link that looks like a button. We can say here padding. So we say P. And I would say here padding Y up and down. I'll just give it two. And I'll say padding left and right. Uh, uh, left and right. Padding X will be three. So if I save this, let's see what it looks like. That starts to look fine. So we have a quite decent design. Let's save this here as well. Save that. All right, now what I want to do, I want to place them in the center. So once we set them in the center here, what we can do is here, probably here, this will be, um, if this is not, we should make this a flex. And then we say here, if I'm not mistaken, items center. And if not, it's the other one, or probably it's justified, sorry. Justify center. The reason why justify center works for, we're putting it on a horizontal level on the center, as you can see here. All right, so now in the center, but it removes the spaces here because this is a flex box. Now it doesn't see it as, an, as a uh, uh, what is it, an inline property. So we can make this here. I'll just say a margin. We can say margin x. We just do it here too. And then we have this here as well. Save that. All right, so that looks slightly more better. Now we do here border radius or radius. We can say here radius as well. The border radius has a class of rounded and we copy that, put it in here, save that, refresh. 
Now we have that, and I would like to, if you want to make this a bit more nice, like a pill size, or we can increase it, we can do pill. We can do pill here, let's see if that works. Oh, that does not work. So let me search here, border radius. Border radius, and then once I click here on Tailwind CSS, border radius, and then I scroll down here, did, did it find anything? I have a feeling it didn't find anything. Search for this one more time. Maybe I need to type in board or maybe round it and then from there on it will search. Rounded corners, all right, that's it. Let's click on that. Uh, I have a feeling that my internet connection is not working, so we just ignore that for now. All right, so what I will do here instead of that, I would do rounded XL to intensify the roundedness of it. If I save this now and go back here, we have intensified it, and now you can see we have this more nicer buttons. All right, so what I really want to do here is basically to scale them up. The moment we hover over it, we should have an effect. So how do we do this? Well, very straightforward. We can say here, for example, hover column, and then we could say here, well, let's make an example here, is that we say the background will be white. If I save this, and now if I hover over, you can see now it just turns white. And it only turns white here. So what we can do here is basically instead of background white, we can do here scale. I just need to see if this is the right term. Scale 110. If I do that, save that. Refresh. And all right, so it doesn't work. So let me double check what's the official term. All right, my intent starts to work again, so now I can start to work with the scaling classes here. And what I really want to do here, I want to scale, and you can see, if you search for scale, you'll see this, and this is quite fun. Apparently, it is scale 110, and the moment we hover over it, then we should have a expansion of it. So let's double check here if this really works. Did I miss something? Yes or no? Uh, we can see here, scale hover 10 is exactly the same. Let me go back here, Hoover. No. All right. Let's see what I'm missing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Hoover effect. And if I remove it and then I go back here, refresh. Don't see anything. Fair enough. So that would mean that maybe the scale is not. Oh, all right. There you are. The transform scale. So let me double check here. How do we do a Hoover effect? So I'm going to do a Hoover. I'm going to search for Hoover here. Hoover with scale. So Hoover background, all right, this is the one we have. Now I want to look for scale here. All right, so Hoover, colon scale. Let's see why it doesn't work accordingly. Focus on me, all right, focus me. Scale, yes, just click. So what I want to do here is I want to look for the scale option. So let's search for scale faster. All right. So apparently we need motion save. Motion save as will only apply to utility when the media feature are right. So what we need to do here is not scale only. We need a few things. Transform, motion save, and then eventually hover scale 110. So what already happens then is if you do this and we hover over it, you could see the same effect here as well. Refresh. If I refresh here, no, all right, I don't see anything working here. Did I save this accordingly? Did I save everything also or transform motion save? This doesn't work at all. Alright, so maybe I have to remove the motion save. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it moves, but it jumps instantly, although I wonder here, here it's quite nicely done if I'm not mistaken. Here, if I hover over it, it will show me exactly the entire adjustment so let's double check what I'm missing here we have the transform I guess the motion save is exam motion save we had this one here what am I missing more did I put any item here no I will just save it one more time just try again and for some reason it just absolutely doesn't work so I can't say what happened here so we can just remove this for now Save that, refresh. It jumps here. I do not like this transitioning here. Uh, this is the transition should be gradual. So, do we miss something here? Are we missing something here? Let's double check here. Not only motion save can be combined with the responsiveness, small motion save. By default, motion save will not be enabled in the core 
plugin. All right. So probably here, uh, this would mean that maybe I need to set it up here, and and in the CSS itself will not work because it's something far more deeper. All right. Fair enough. So we have no. Sadly enough, we don't have any options for the motions or for the adjustments here. Transform. But we do have this scale here, and imagine we have this 25. It means basically this would mean it will be increased with 25%. If I save this now, go back here, we jump here. This is fun with images, trust me. This will be really fun with images. If you've seen some of the images, it will be more fun because you will see that you can create a quite nice effect out of it. Okay, we do this. There we are. So this is quite decent for now. So we have here very straightforward buttons. Not that special to be honest, but enough for now.